All right, everyone, this is my friend. It's me! Emily, who is a plumber. Hi. So, what do you do if you're being attacked by a crazy plumber? So what if all you have is a knife? It's not really uh, great odds against a wrench because that thing is pretty heavy and hits pretty hard. But fortunately, plumbers will jump. The problem with the jump attack is it's very predictable. You see it coming from a mile away and it cannot be adjusted. I mean, okay, depending on which rooms the plumber has eaten, they may think that they can adjust <coughs> their fall, but um, it's not how it works. So it's just going to be straightforward. I know that's exactly what happens, so when the jump comes in, all I need to do is evade to the side and stab. And what if you just come back home from HEMA practice and you happen to have a sword on you and uh, a plumber gets the jump on you? Well. Same thing, basically, except there is another neat thing you can do against somebody who is silly enough to jump. Um, the legs are a nice target because they're difficult to defend. What we normally do against the leg cot is the leg boy. So what Emily would do would be to just remove the leg. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to remove the leg, but you know what I mean. We'll just make sure the leg is not there when I cut. Now, what's the problem when somebody is um, airborne? All I have to do is just step back to avoid it and cut. That also works if there is no jump. If the plumber just wants to strike me with a wrench, I have way more reach. So I can be pretty far away. So your reach is all, of course also a height difference, but this is the reach with a wrench. The reach with a sword is this. So basically all I have to do is just cut because as the, the wrench swing comes in, as long as I'm not in the immediate reach, I can do whatever I want, basically. I can cut the arm off, I can cut you know, to the leg, to the head, whatever I want to do. So, and then evade, cut to the head, top of the head. Of course, a wrench is not exactly a finesse weapon. It's pretty slow to move. If I just seize the initiative and I just go straight in with a thrust, there's not too much you can do about that. I mean, if you manage to catch that thrust with the wrench, it immediately comes around. Ah, no, fast. It, this is way too fast. So if I just push the offense, basically all I have to do is just keep cutting, cutting, yeah. cutting, thrusting, just throw a flurry of attacks and the wrench is useless. Even if you were a really tall steroid monster, you still wouldn't be that quick with it compared to a sword at the very least. So. I'm not a steroid monster, but, me. but um, if I try to swing this fast, this is not, no, this is not really happening. I can't do this fast enough. And that's me being out of practice for two years. Yeah, of course. I mean, if, if you strike me, I try to get this. This is so damn slow when I can get a hit in the arm at any given time because there's not much to defend with. So. Uh, it's also heavier than it looks. Yeah, this, this is pretty chunky. Also, the plumber might throw something at you. In this case, throw right back. Not actually a joke, I'm, I'm a plumber. That's what game oh. So, <laughs> I stab you? Right in the tit! <laughs> I'm sorry. There are only like three female plumbers here. <laughs> 